Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode on FTV Skies. How are you guys doing? Well, I'm doing great today and today we're gonna finally be working here. Yes, we're gonna set up some Applied Energistics Automation. Now, I did have this guy like just waiting here for a little while and now you can see I already went ahead and hooked him up with P2P tunnels. So these tunnels are on all of these four faces. And I also have these flux covered cables linking everything up. Then they go ahead and link into a dense covered cable, which then links into an ME controller. Now this ME controller branches out with a dense cable and now the dense cable then has normal covered cable. And then we have another tunnel so this is basically how we're going to have tons and tons of channels for tons and tons of things that we're going to be handling mainly like collecting things from over there and then moving them somewhere probably like over there to create to do something with the honey and then bring it back like we're going to set up tons of automation like throughout the pack so we need to try and maximize our gains in terms of channels and this is like the way you can do it now i have this connected to this entire side basically and if i believe uh each one of these sides has eight channels so basically we or four channels i think it's four so this four this another four and if you go all the way around you have 32 channels now this is good that you have 32 channels but you cannot like access through the, all the cables like i mean unless you're using a dance but i don't think the dance connects to most of the items so you have to branch out into the smaller version so the covered cable now these covered cables i can branch out on two sides and basically that guy has 16 i think and this guy has other 16 i think it's something like that one i think one of the things that we could do to try and help us uh, I'm not really sure if this one's going to help us or not. Is the tiny little wrench they have. If I can find it. Yep, the network tool. Yeah, okay, we got to do this one first. And we got to do any chests. Because apparently we do not have any sort of chests. Yeah, no, we don't. Okay. Uh, that's actually news to me. Oh, yeah, I kind of used a lot of them. For the bees. <laughs> so, yeah, that's to be expected. Now, to start us off, I just made a couple of panels right here. We have a crafting terminal, as usual. We have a pattern access terminal, which will be helpful in a second. Right now, it actually doesn't show anything. And then we have a pattern encoding terminal, which will allow us to make patterns. Now, we do still have access to our old system, which is all the way over there back in the starter base. So, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to craft a few patterns uh these guys right here as many as i can okay 36 this should be enough to, to to just get us going now what do we need well basically uh applied energistics version of auto crafting is a little bit different than refined storage like you kind of need several different parts in order for it to work now one of the first things you need is a pattern provider we got one another thing you need is a molecular assembler and let me go to here uh yeah this is the one and it's gonna need some quartz glass we can also like teach ourselves this recipe in a second as well and let's make a few of these and boom we have a molecular assembler now hear me out this can get really complicated real quick so please pay a, bit, a little bit of attention if you want to learn this properly because it's even confusing my mind right now so yeah i'll try to go along try and explain it as best as i can as well now if you're playing in earlier versions i believe the me interface should be replacing the pattern provider right now we have the pattern provider which means we use the pattern provider if you're playing in earlier versions i think you still use the interface because this one doesn't exist you only use this one for pretty much everything okay that's out of the way now what do we have we have these blocks right here a crafting unit crafting co-processing unit and 1k 4k 16 all the way to 256k crafting storage 
Now, we're going to need to make a minimum of this guy, which means we need to make this guy. Let's do... Yeah, let's do one right, uh, right at the bat. Let's do one of those. Let's do one of these. And if we put them together, we have a 1K crafting storage. Now, what is this 1K crafting storage? This 1K crafting storage is basically allowing us to properly craft stuff because we need to give him like imagine this is ram we need to give our computer right here some ram so we can handle whatever we're telling him to do does, does it make sense well i guess it only makes sense if you understand ram but sure <laughs> uh okay continuing forward i guess we can go down right of here and what we want to do is i'm going to just do a simple setup right here with these cables here uh, we're going to have this tunnel right over here this tunnel needs some configuration so we're still going to be needing to work on that and here's a stick i don't want a stick and we're going to just go directly underneath him put this guy here yep and put this guy here now as you can see everything is properly connected this guy is offline because this guy is not linked these guys they need to be properly linked i also believe we could just move them one block here one block here and then put a cable like this i believe this should also work whenever this one is linked which it isn't at the moment so what you need right now is a couple of these these memory cards and these guys are kind of important because they allow you to configure these tunnels which these tunnels basically go ahead and tell you like for example this guy this guy this face of the computer will be working here on this branch so i believe we just right click on there or an incomplete device what do you mean an incomplete device oh there we go yeah so we got this guy he's configured as you can see this guy is blank this one is configured and if i right click here yep you can see that this guy is now linked all of these guys now say that they are online because this guy is connected to that guy now ideally if you're gonna be working and doing tons of things with these you kind of want to make sure you remember which uh guy has what so for example this side of the network i'm gonna leave this card here so whenever i'm messing with this side of the network i know that all the cards i have stored up here are from this side because if you have like all of the cards you gotta go one by one that can be a little bit of a pain now we do have this thing connected right but the, what it doesn't work why does it doesn't work because we do not have this guy placed down it's not still connected so let's go ahead and give this guy probably a couple blocks just like so and we do this and we do this there we go everything is online as you can see now this guy is the brain he has 1k which means he can handle 1024 bytes of things to do now each action that i'll tell him to do takes a certain amount of bytes and i can't go over a thousand so this guy is kind of like the smaller version we're gonna have to make bigger and better versions then if we go ahead and take a look at our pattern provider this guy well takes on patterns right we give him the patterns and he since he's linked to this guy this guy is going to be the auto crafting thing so he auto crafts things that you can do in the crafting table so for example this he can auto craft this uh if we go ahead and we set that up now how can we set that up that's very very simple if you go for example over here let's teach him how to do this this is the pattern for this cable right here for the dense cable if you hold on shift we can see that the pattern turns into the dense cable i'm also going to teach him how to do the other one so if we go ahead and give grab some of this and clear that and if one of these plus one of these make this there we go now he has access to these two crafting recipes which is pretty cool so what we can do is go over here and give this guy 
these patterns. Now, I do not have storage here, uh, though I could technically get some storage. But as you can see, we can technically tell him to craft. And if you go on next, you see it's missing 10 flukes, 10 white wool, because, well, with this computer at the moment has no storage but if you understand this simple basic mechanic you can understand auto crafting uh what you would this is basically a crafting table if you wanted to smelt some items you would do the same setup the only difference is that here you have whatever your furnace block is you give it the recipe and you do it like that the only difference is whenever you're doing the pattern you gotta tell it it's a processing pattern it's not a crafting, but it's a processing because it has to wait for a process and then pick out the output. You can also do this for smithing table and stone cutting things. The stone cutting things is pretty handy. I'm not going to lie, which means you can automate the, st the, the stone cutting table, which is amazing, by the way. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is pretty much the basics of auto crafting. But... We, we have nothing in our computer, right? We have literally and virtually nothing in this computer. But we do have a tons of resources over there. But I don't want to move them from here to there. So how are we going to do this? Now, I do believe I have everything I need to make this work. Now, the first thing to do is go around here. And we're going to be hooking up these things. The quantum ring and the quantum link chamber. Now... Hopefully, I am actually doing this right. Unless we're about to find out and do that. Yep. It, it seems to be working. Now, we only need a little well, cable. So, if we go ahead and we make ourselves... We probably need to make some. Because I really used every single thing I have. Yeah, let's make a couple of these. So, if we put this up here. Is this now online? It is. So, this chamber as you can see for the flashing blue lights is online or this quantum ring and then we have this quantum ring now they do not link alone for that we need to get our hands on this singularity a tnt and an ender pearl now we do have ftb chunks on but i'm not sure it actually protects us against our own tnt so what we have to do is first of all get rid of our magnet there we go then toss this toss this put this guy here and uh, okay that was a visual bug there we go and hopefully you do not destroy things it didn't and it gave us the two quantum singularities we can go ahead and put that guy back on now these two quantum singularities i'm going to go ahead and rename them if i can find my anvil here uh oh and they're going to be storage or if i'm actually able to type uh what's going on there okay for some reason that wasn't allowing me to type but it's going to be or storage singularities now this is very cool because if you name them you you're basically never gonna mix them up so if we go ahead and we jump over here we put one there and then we go all the way there and there and go down here and please work <laughs> imagine uh-oh uh oh okay i think i know what is happening here i think it's this is too close uh so we might need to actually lower this by one i i hope this is the case so if we just go ahead and do that uh because i think it was actually like inputting information through all of the sides and that's really not what we want it is online, but it is red. Okay, now I wonder why this is turning red. Uh, that guy seems to be working with no issue, but this is working red, which means this side is also working red because they are not linking up properly. 
I'm try I'm gonna try and figure out what's happening here. Maybe what I need to do is not link it there, but actually link it through here, like through one of these uh, multiple channels that we have. So maybe if we just put it from there, okay. of course, need this as well. That over there, that over there. This is offline. And let's go and grab a covered cable. If we still have, we do. So, okay, now that is the one that actually loses stuff. Hmm, that's very interesting. Because I don't know how these guys are meant to share information. If I do that, it locks up. So if I link him in any way, he, he decides to lock up. They lock up because it's, it's, he's got the information of two different things on him. Maybe it's actually a dense cable that I'm meant to do there. Uh, not so sure that it's gonna be. So let me just grab a bunch of these guys and grab a bunch of these guys. And boom. Maybe it's this that we need. Okay, clearly isn't because it's clearly red. Huh. Well, that's uh, that, that, that's actually very sad. Yep, that's that's pretty pretty sad. Guys, I'm I'm actually derping a little bit here. Uh, I know exactly how to fix <laughs> uh, our problem. I was trying with the storage bus. That is definitely not the solution. Uh, of course we can still put it over here. I was just being a little bit of a derp uh, because I realized. Uh, that if our problem is that we have two controllers uh, Because we have this guy and then we have the other guy And we, we just need to remove one of the controllers, right? And it's not this one that needs to be removed It's that other one and how we do that is basically if we go over here down to the base We have our system hooked up Here to this me controller, right? So what we do is we get rid of that we, we got rid of that one. Uh, we probably need to hook this up, the, hook that guy up as well. So if we go ahead and we head back onto here and we now link this, it's online. That guy's online. That guy's online. Everything is online. And hopefully, no, that still didn't work. Okay. It's, 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 it's not as direct as, as I, as I thought. But for some reason the cables uh oh he's offline why is he offline oh because the system here has no power maybe is it well he's not actually linking there but why are you offline could you not be getting power like i'm pretty sure i can't yeah i can't do that you guys are offline as well because so i think they're connected he's just offline for some apparent reason uh they should share power in between them uh i guess we could technically cheese this then if we do this we can put that guy over there and if we put a normal cable here they do not link to each other. So we can still go ahead and place this guy here. Which means this guy has power, which means this guy has power, which means this guy has power. So does it work now? Dun, da, da, da. It works! <laughs> we got him, boys. We got him. Yes. This is now working like we want it to work. We now have access to everything we have over there and everything we have over here. So basically what I did is I just hooked up one of these guys, a quartz fiber. Now these quartz fibers, they allow power to go through, but they do not allow any sort of connection to actually go through. So what that means is there's no like, that there's no two CPUs, so it's, there's no this guy and this guy like messing up between themselves. Uh, it's exactly what I did over here. Uh, I had this guy on, 
so that means that these cables even though they're together the only thing that's shared between them is power there's no information besides like just regular things going through uh, and that allows you to connect several different things together so that's pretty pretty helpful now we only need to give ourselves another recipe so we don't need that for anything what we need is to give ourselves this pattern right here so we now have a pattern for cables yes and let's put this to the test shall we so if we go ahead over here and we type in cables you can see we can craft these guys now so let's go ahead and type a hundred now as you can see it's kind of says it's missing some quartz fiber which means we're gonna need to learn quartz fiber as well so we go over here we check on the recipe for this guy and we learn it that's pretty good now we just go over ahead here and we place it over here and just like that if we want to craft some me cables or for that being let's go even for a dense cable let's ask this guy to do me 10 dense as you can see he has all the resources he needs so i told him to craft 10 dense cables and if we go over here you can see him crafting the cables now this is pretty cool and the pattern provider as all of these things now we can go ahead and accelerate this with acceleration cards so the process is even faster and uh, that's why the network tool is here basically the network tool allows me to store the the cards which is pretty cool uh, and we can make this faster if we have more pattern providers uh, more pattern providers more molecular assemblers and this is where this side of the room is going to go because i want to set up a couple of these guys so we have some stronger uh, auto crafting now there is a little bit of an issue right now is that we do not have automated class which is something that we can set up right now the only thing we need is basically a smelter uh, any sort of smelter we can make this one this guy right here the energized smelter and of course you can then later upgrade this guy for a better and bigger version and basically what you want to do is imagine i have this guy here uh, i believe they can be together i don't think there's any restriction about these guys being put on like side by side because he doesn't link to that guy he, he, he will link to the energized smelter uh, of course this guy will need a point for power so let's go ahead and just give him a little bit of our power there we go and all we need to do to like differently is if we go ahead and type for example sand we have some sand in our system we go into the pattern provider we clear this one put uh this into processing pattern we tell him well i'll give you one sand and the output has to be and this you, you actually need to tell him what's the output going to be it's going to be a piece of glass now he knows whenever he puts a piece of glass here and that's not where it goes it's, it's here this is where it goes whenever he puts a piece of glass here or a piece of sand he needs to output a piece of glass so if we go over here and we check the glass you'd see it has like a, a plus sign if you middle mouse button i believe i need to actually change uh the key bind for that because I, I probably have it changed for some other things uh but yeah let's bring all of our glass out you can see we can craft some glass so what we're going to do is tell them to do well do 100 glass it has 100 sand so we're going to craft 100 100 pieces of glass and just like so it comes down here to the smelter it inputs everything it needs to input and the smelter will do its thing and from here it just escalates guys it just escalates even more now one thing to have in mind like i said if you want to craft like these cables and i type a thousand we'll see that even though technically i have the resources to do this it doesn't actually allow me to do it because it requires if you see up top 3410 bytes at the moment the only thing we have is a 1k crafting storage so we only have like one gigabyte of ram 
and we need three gigabytes of ram in order to do that so we either do more of these uh more 1ks or i can just replace this 1k with a 16k for example and that should really like be enough for most of the crafting that we're probably gonna have or need uh so this is basically a matter of go big because the more you want to auto craft the more crafting power you're going to need so basically you always have to pay attention to that uh, and you can see that this guy is doing its thing of course we might need to hook this guy up to auto output uh, like the output and the auto output so it actually outputs back the items into the pattern provider so we always have to bear in mind the outputs of the machines that we're trying to use because some of them and this is the stick of sticky sticks <laughs> some of the outputs of the machines may not like be where you want them to be it's like for example the mechanism machines you can tell them to go upwards but some machines only go down so you probably have to run a cable around and put it back into the pattern provider so it actually takes the items back into your storage now i'm actually pretty proud of this setup and this is can, this only means that we can go pretty crazy uh with a bunch of things so i'm gonna try and hook up a bunch of basic crafting recipes uh for the pattern providers that basically for for example for these blocks and for these uh sheet plating so whenever i need them to build i don't need to go ahead and do them by hand i just tell my system yo do me this and it will do me that and of course i can't forget about this guy the pattern access terminal now this guy is just a little bit of a side note because he actually allows you to see what you have over here now this is pretty good because you actually know uh, what you have in terms of items uh, that you already know how to make and what block is making them and it's pretty cool uh you can actually see that my energized smelter can do glass and the molecular assembler can do all these cool things now i did just run out into a little bit of an issue uh if we go ahead and remove the entirety of our glass let's go ahead and give it another 100 and tell him to do another 100. now if we go down here we see he's actually not taking in things why because i told him well the output is going to be the top one so i need to give this at least input and output so we can actually input items and output so bear in mind you really need to be careful with the inputs and the outputs or else uh things might get stuck in production and you may just have this block entirely blocked uh, because I had this like sitting with 27 because there were still 27 pieces of sand that didn't make it into the smelter because I had that thing to only output not input and output so bear that in mind whenever you're setting this up and of course I could not forget one of the most important things while you're doing things with basically applied energistics and those are the inscribers now I have an inscriber engineering press I have a civic compress and I have an empty one with full acceleration cards. Now, what I told this guy to do is to make this one. He makes this one and he has a recipe for this. So now I say I want a hundred. Do it. He is now going to start doing it. It's going to smash these ones. This guy should start to smash silicon anytime soon i believe when whenever this guy yeah yep there you go whenever that guy gets full it will start smashing into our silicon now i do not know if we have yeah we don't so i also need to tell this smelter right here how to handle uh and of course this guy ran out of power so we got to do that <laughs> uh of course i need to tell this guy how he can actually cook uh more things uh of course that smelter needs to be upgraded i believe the best thing we can do right now for that is well just go into here and take advantage of this guy uh like all of these guys that said i could auto craft from here as well i did leave a little bit of a room for me back here i think i think i have like one or two blocks or maybe i don't 
but i think i did have I, yeah i have a couple of blocks here at the back uh which means i could possibly just replace this line of pillars with pattern encoders and then i have all of these guys linked together to whatever i need them to do that could be cool yeah that could actually be pretty cool uh and i have a intruder aha no and i got some kitty slippers which makes me immune to creepers so i think what i'm going to going to do at the moment just gonna steal this guy from here and i'm gonna put it over there there we go now this guy also knows how to cook silicon so in case we need any silicon to be made it can, this guy can know now i also need to automate these these acceleration cards now they're pretty simple but then i need to automate this which means i need to automate this and this is where things like start to go a little bit ham and where that guy may not be enough so i need to make this guy faster as well and in order to make this guy faster uh i'll show you exactly what we need so for example i think we can do with three more of these if we can and we cannot why because we don't have co-processors available that's where we gotta go into the crow processor units which is these guys now we do have the resources to do this if we make these ourselves there we go now i'm gonna make a couple of these and we're gonna make one co-crafting processor and i believe if i do this yep it can still work and it's now trying and doing its own things everything seems to be working fine because that guy says it's online uh but the problem here is and you have to be very careful with this these guys have a specific shape so if you i think they need to be a cuboid uh this is a cuboid because like you, you have a cube and if it's like a I, I don't know the word in english i'm sorry it's like a rectangle thingy blocky rectangle I, I i i'm sorry english is not my native language it has to have some sort of shape of a cube that's basically it <laughs> in order for this to work and this is in shape of a cube so these guys can work so let's go ahead and do this again and we can tell them craft this now it should be pretty fast because it's only like a single craft so it shouldn't really take that long uh but i need two extra ones and now it's going to be missing one logic this is where these guys need to expand and where i'll probably have several different uh these these versions or maybe just make a 256k with a bunch of co-processing units uh so that he can handle but a bunch of inputs uh basically need to automate all the the inscriber things uh, which means I need to make two more inscribers, uh, minimum two more inscribers, uh, one that's pumping down with gold and one with quartz. So if you go into the inscribers, I believe I'm missing, I was missing these resources, now I'm not. So I need another one, so I need two pistons, and we do this, and we do this, we do this, and boom, here we go, we could put these guys here and i believe could we not make another one of these go into the pattern just 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 one no we can't we can't make just one which means i'm gonna break this guy i'm gonna put this guy here and then we're gonna make a pattern for gold this is pretty simple uh if you get the hang of it it's pretty simple so if we go ahead and take at the logic i think it's the logic versions yep there we go so we need this one which is, and you, you need to remove the press as well, which is a processing pattern, and we get this one. And then we need this one, which by, combines all of these into here. And what we do is we go over here, and we tell this guy, make this one, this guy, to make this one. So if we go again into the pattern version, do me, well, let's actually do two, do it is now gonna input the gold here of course it still needs the logic press that i'll manually input into here which means i can put the, this one here it's gonna buy it down to gold 
and then it's going to put the gold together there and we already have the two pattern providers uh, and that reminds me since i just used <laughs> i need another one so go ahead make me another one please it shouldn't really take that long i think the gold is the one that takes the longest so we kind of need to put upgrade cards on all of those and we have this now i'm also going to grab myself uh, some more molecular assemblers so if we go here and we type this now if you type control click it will craft the items that we need so it's now uh crafting that i believe yep it just did so we're gonna grab well we need to grab quite a few more so i'm gonna tell them to do 10 of these so it actually does 10 of these things and let's go into this recipe and we cannot do that because this guy is actually being used this is where a second molecular assembler comes in and this is where i can actually go ahead and put another pattern provider here now this means i can give these these molecular assemblers more recipes now the only thing that these guys cannot have uh in order to this setup to work properly is that they cannot be touching each other so i can do this uh for them to actually do what i want them to do so if i do this now i want him to craft that now he's missing a resource he's missing that which he just did which means i can do that and i can pull two of these which is exactly what we need to put this here now i'll move these guy this guy into that corner so it doesn't look that messy but what i basically just did is allow these guys uh if i gave this guy some more co-processing units uh, access to multiple uh, molecular assemblers uh, each one accesses three if he needs to uh and i also have i think it's nine patterns nine patterns on four sides which means a hefty 36 patterns of auto crafting that i can have in this two by two which is pretty basic uh all i need is basically kind of remove this uh from here and i'll do that over up there and i'll do this a little bit better better here so what you probably want to start off is with this so it starts off there and then we do that do that this this and this and this there we go and let's put back these recipes into here now they are connected which means if, for example i moved let's say this guy these guys i want these guys to be crafted by this guy i want all of my cables to be crafted by this guy and i guess you can say that these guys can stay here i'll move this one here so i know that pattern things are here so whenever i go ahead and annihilation i think it's annihilation i don't, I don't remember it's it's core the course yep the course these guys so i have eight of these let's tell my system to craft me let's say a stack of each so this guy is technically only 54 i mean not even that much and you i want the stack as well there we go a stack and why can you not craft oh because i do not have another co-processing unit because it's crafting something here and it's crafting something there so what that means is that i can have two things going at a time because i have two uh basically inputs so i have this guy and this guy so two pieces of machinery crafting something so if i go into the co-processing unit which is this guy and i pull another one and i pull it over there now they linked because it's still a cuboid and i can go ahead and make the second craft so if we go ahead and type in core we can now craft this guy because we can handle three different item craftings so we have basically one two three craftings going at a time one still going over there and two of them are on here now i believe that it's waiting for things yeah as you can see this guy actually used that one over there 
and the other oh they're all just using this guy yeah because it's both from here so if i tell them to make crafting tables it will use that one or this one uh they have access to three of them so they can use three of them to go faster so that's pretty hefty pretty pretty cool now i also think i i know i keep saying a lot of things so bear with me guys because this can be very complicated uh, i also think that i'm going to separate every single thing so basically in order for this guy to actually handle four different inputs uh in crafting he actually needs four of these guys for himself uh so i'll probably have to separate like this guy put it over here so he can handle this and i'll probably do the same with these guys because they kind of need a lot of of machinery behind themselves i still need another pattern provider so i believe if we tell him to do he can't yes because he's still crafting thing he's still crafting things here uh what we could do is we could probably just do this so it, this process is a little bit faster the network tool is pretty cool not removing items for <laughs> to our inventory and just allowing it to put it directly into here and then into here but you know guys this is this is actually tiring me me and my head but yeah guys this video has been probably a little bit too long but the main purpose of this video is actually explain everything as much as i can and show you guys the process of every single step so the video if the video is too long and if you made it so far please tell me down below if the video is too long uh, but if you learn anything also please tell me down below if you learned some of these things because if you didn't know i've actually learned a lot by just watching some some things you know and reading about how these machines work and i'm pretty happy with the progress that we're going to be making here so please guys if you guys enjoyed the video if it was helpful to you in any way please like the video subscribe i'm really close to 1k at the moment we're still quite there we're missing like five six people so yeah go ahead hit the subscribe button and see ya in the next one bye